Welcome back guys to episode 2 of Pokemon Empire. Uh, if you guys could recall back to the last episode, you'll remember that I was getting my ass pushed in pretty fairly, uh, or unfairly I guess, depending on how you feel about it. I'm indifferent to it, <laughs> but I guess we'll see. All I know is I'm going to have to do a lot of grinding. Um, but yeah. Anyways, if you're enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more. <laughs> I'm guessing grinding has got to be like the best way to not just eat, lose every match. I feel like having hail out could be beneficial early on. Oh, okay. I need to open the PBS. Just help him. They still want to train it. So where I am right now, I know it's going to take a lot of research to play this game properly, just because there's so many options, um, and then certain things have changed from the main game. So like, if I want to decide on the Pokemon, I have to not only research where they are, but what they what the changes to them are. Very curious as to why they decided to make normal super effective against fairy in this game. I wonder what's the the logic behind it. Hopefully I can get my hands on a, a safe amount of money. So I don't have to worry so much. Let's see. There's a deer lane. I already have a grass type. The more I see, the less I know, the more I'd like to let it go. Outer moves don't affect the wild deer. <laughs> I'm also sure abilities also change too. Looks like it already contains a Pokemon. Pichu? Whoa. That nature's pretty bad, though. Well, hold on. Let me look at Pichu's uh, stats. Um, it'd be swell if they changed it from evolving for friendship, but something tells me they probably wouldn't do that. It gets abilities Lightning Rod, Static, and Dynamo. What is Dynamo? Now I have to look up. Damn it, man. Now I gotta open up the freaking abilities folder and look for Dynamo.
Dynamo attack deal attacks deal 1.2 times the damage but costs double power points. Hmm. <clears throat> I think that's better than lightning rod for a Pokemon like this. It has to be, right? More damage? Alright. Save it here. So, slacks. Does it come with any special moves? No, it doesn't. Okay. This Pichu could be a, like a monster just by virtue of it doing a lot of damage. Especially with something like Nasty Plot that it'll learn. The only thing is, um, if I evolve it, the genuine concern I have is what happens when I evolve it into a lowland Raichu? Does the ability change? No. You didn't hear that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Abilities. I mean, Pokemon. Okay, so Pichu. Does not learn nasty plot. No, they uh they remove that. It learns prey rough though. That's interesting. Whiplash. Huh. Electric. Well, evolution. It doesn't say how it evolves. Let's go up to Pikachu. So with Pikachu, cheek pouch. Oh, it doesn't even get static anymore. It gets static becomes cheek pouch. But it still keeps Dynamo or Lightning Rod. That's good. Um, it's still an electric type though. Okay, so it a low and right you is still in the game. Okay, let's look up at a right you. Power surge and initial surge. What do they do? All right. Power surge and initial surge. Summons high power to uh, summons high powered terrain for five turns on entry. What is high powered terrain? Do? Oh my god! <laughs> like crud. 
All right, let's say what is but he gets levitate as a hidden ability. Man. Let's see initial surge. Double speed on the first turn in battle. Oh no. I don't think that's that great. Storm grenade? <laughs> okay. This there's really a lot to unpack here. I I hate the way this information is presented to you though. I have to go through files and just read a bunch of letters and stuff. You know, not saying it would be any different if it was on a website, but at least it could have been sorted better. <clears throat> Something tells me I should be looking for a special attacking one because I see no reason not to get the Alolan Raichu. It doesn't get Dynamo though, so I guess I don't have to worry about that. Uh, 30. 30 in attack isn't too bad. I just need a speedy or a, a stronger one. Now this one has a dynamo, but it's, its nature isn't too good. Oh, just. Alright, I need to check. I'm pretty sure Pichu evolves from friendship in this game still, right? I've I'm only reason I'm checking is because some Pokemon have their evolutionary methods altered. Yeah, it's fucking friendship. God damn it. Oh. Friendship's like I I, I, I like I, I like the idea of it. It's just it's always so damn tedious to do. Cause you have to like, especially at the beginning of the game where baby Pokemon kind of suck. I mean, baby Pokemon always suck, right? Like you could lose to a Caterpie just because their defense, their their stats are so bad. I hope they give you the experience share pretty quickly or something, man. Try not to be on the back foot for too long. See, Jolly would work if I wasn't trying to be a special attacker. Quiet. Oh my god. Of all the special attack boosting natures, I'd have taken modest or anything. Quiet. Bashful. I don't know how hard this game is going to be, so I'm probably going to have to optimize as best I can. I'm just hoping I don't have to Eevee train off a of wild Pokemon or some shit like that. That's gonna be nice. Modest. Ma, this works. Dynamo, modest, special attack, max speed IVs, high special attack. Yeah, this will do it. All right, let's go uh, try and face this deer lane. I'm not sure how I feel about keeping these other two Pokemon. Definitely leaning towards Musco more than Centric. But I'm not taking anybody off just because I don't know. I just don't know what everyone's capable of. And I need to, I want to have options.
I like the music though. The music. I can get down with this. Oh, at least we got a poison. I'm moving at a snail's pace. It's just, I, I've been told that if you don't, you have to play, play this game very carefully. Um, it's structured in a way to be kind of bully. So I'm trying not to run head first into anything. I'm sure I need to have level 20 Pokemon or some shite like that before the first gym. I'm just hoping they they don't make grinding too much of a pain. Like they're like a trainer that allows that helps with that, just because. Yeah. I guess it's not gonna attack me. Sucks that I'm not going to get Nasty Plot, but I guess they were like, Dynamo plus Nasty Plot is going to be kind of ridiculous, which is fair. Can't really, uh... Actually, I should... I should probably not heal right away after every single thing. find a Pidgey. First gym is supposed to be an ice type, which is ridiculously mean, by the way. But I, I can probably catch like a rock type or something maybe soon. I hope. No rock. Huh. huh. Oh. Actually, I was gonna say, uh, see, this would suck because it, it evolves by. Uh... Dawnstone, but I actually don't know that. Frigidaire? What is Frigidaire? Glalie evolves Metal Morph? Clearly a steel type in this game? That's the only conclusion I can come to. Uh, yes it is. 
Hmm. And then it evolves to a Frost Slash with a Dawn Stone. Ah, uh, but see, the, the thing about Pokemon that evolve being evolution is that, like, you're pretty much hosed. I can't really go wrong with having an ice type this early. This could even defensively have a relevance. I would get I normally would get frost eyes, but I think the ice steel type is probably the Oh, Glalie's a physical attacker, though. Its special attack is horrible. Hmm. I mean, I guess we have it. Oh, it's a female. Okay. I don't want Pichu to die, because if it dies... Sets me back on my goddamn friendship. Ooh, crit. Alright. Well, this one is... I mean, it'll be evolving to a frost last, but it's gotta be, like better, right? Friend guard. Allies take less damage from attacks. I mean, hell, this is better than the fucking rash one, so. Alright. I am I still can't get over the fact that I have to actually pay to heal up in this game. That just... That is like... Asking to get your game soft locked. Alright, um. Let's progress a little bit. Not too far. Actually, there was a battle we didn't do against the trainer over here. I do got a very good type diversity at the very least. That's that's something to be happy about. Very nice. There's this kid. Have you ever seen a musco before? They're amazing. I do have one. And they're they're okay. Guess there are more important things going on right now. Woot. That's more ways to heal. <laughs> All right. If anybody knows how many badges are in this game, I know it's on its fifth episode. So I'm curious what that translates to into badges. Maybe like what? Six? Hey, hold there. What do you know about the crash? I don't know anything. Right. The hope is that he goes for... That's fine. If 
probably should have picked a fire type. Sorry, I thought she might have been involved somehow. I'm gonna have a cottony until level 32, by the way. Man. See, this Pokemon doesn't only evolves once. Jesus, do we finally have everyone now? Okay, good. Now then, this is a full report, so save your questions till the end. Got it? Okay. So, if you're unaware yet, there was, uh, that was a refugee. Uh, that was a refugee plane headed for Meridiana that crashed into the Blurious Mountain. Aw, oh, dang. Council had intel on Yaki Mercs that have been shadowing planes, bringing supplies and refugees back into Tellius. We would reason to believe this particular plane was being targeted, and well, it was. By the time I got up there, the plane was already in a critical state. So my Mewtwo and I... This guy just casually told me he has a Mewtwo. And I teleported as many of the crew and passengers as we could to ground level. My team is currently processing the survivors at the station. Until, the, uh, until that's done, a lockdown will be in effect. Nothing serious, just a safety precaution. But no one goes in or out of the train station until we make sure the civilians I courageously rescued are all safe and all that. As for the crash site itself, I trust your team is already in place, Ezekiel. Yes, sir. I have two teams stationed. I like what you said. Alright then, why don't you head down to the train station and join the rest of my team? And speaking of which... Isaiah, why aren't you already down at the train station? I need all hands on deck. But sir, I need to deliver my report to the council. Zane expressly stated we were to... The council isn't here, brother. So as I said, that's an order. You're dismissed. You too, Ezekiel. Get down to the train station. Yes, sir. Okay, then. As for you, uh, Ezrael and Elise, just assure everyone that they're safe and that everything's under control. Rob Kess... Oh, wait, what? That's always a more quality moral booster. Morale booster. Other than that, remember, keep people away from the train station, the crash site, and we'll all be back on our normal lives in no, uh, in no time flat. So that's it then? Uh, pretty much. Look, I saved the day. Everybody's happy, so let's just make sure that stays that way because there's really not much. This guy is kind of an arrogant ass. See, that's the right idea. Just remember what I told you both before. Fine. Excellent. I need to tidy up a few things here, and then I get to get out of this horrid cold. No idea how you people do it up here all the time like this. Regardless, people of Polaris, it has been a pleasure coming to your aid in your hour of need. As a token of by which to remember me, until we meet, uh, until next we meet, I'm leaving you all with experience shares. Oh, this way you can share the experience of being the champion of Tellius with everyone you know. This guy's the champion, and he has a Mewtwo. Damn. Well, at least I know where the bar is set. Hey, Celia. Guess I wasn't as far as behind as I thought. Have you been able to find your brother or anything about the plane? I see, so the champion was here and he saved everyone? Frick, I can't believe I missed him. Still, that's great news. So your brother must be at the train station. Then you should head there. It's just southwest of the city proper. After hearing all that, now I really want to track down the other town leaders to see if they know anything more about the crash. See, I wasn't able to talk to my dad, but I did get a hold of my sister and she was doing she was acting really weird. I know she's supposed to know stuff because she's literally on the council now, but like she was talking like she knew stuff, you know? I know my sister and she was setting off some alarms for me. I don't know, it's like I said on the plane, this situation just feels off and I know that's probably crazy, but now that I'm here, it makes me want to just see things for myself. Sorry, I. you probably want to see if you can find your brother at the train station. Okay, I'll meet up with you after I track down those other leaders. Okay. This is, uh, this will be nice. Welcome to Delhi's Meats. You suffer my... Wait, this guy just challenged me to a fight. He summoned a level 7 Stantler? This thing's base stat total should be way too high. And it knows double kick. Mm. 
mind, man. Special defense rules. Okay. Um, poisoning, I guess. He's second other Pokemon, by the way. Oh, right. Mind Meld is a, that's a psychic technique. I have several questions. That's like a juice. I have to send in cotton, right? But I still... I still get body here. I didn't do too much damage. A level 10 Stantler. Okay. I get I get run the fuck over here. If you're wondering why we're outside, it's really just cause it's just to cut costs. It's absurd how much money you're flushing down the tube by running a freezer 24/7. And now I'm getting really acclimated to being in the cold. So when I'm home, my wife and I have major thermostat wars. Oh, don't mind Klaus over here. He's harmless. He really just been having some issues since the war. I'm sure he'll be right as rain soon. Enough though. Yeah, fuck that guy. This is Polaris Point. Whatever. If you're unfamiliar with the area to the north of Polaris Mountain, northeast is the Explorer's Guild. East is the Polaris Pass. The new Origin building is out there. Southwest is Polaris Station. West is the Skating Rink and Leader Elise. Finally, northwest is the new mine that the Whalor Corps started. Hope that helps. Polaris is kind of a big place and you can get lost if you aren't familiar with it. If you're new here, I'd recommend battling some of the trainers in the tavern right over there. Otherwise, check out Polaris Miner or Polaris Ice Factory and head down to the Polaris Station when you're ready to advance the plot. <laughs> hmm. There's some battling notes. Immunity apparently now gives poison type resistance. Wonder why it doesn't give, you know, immunity though. Weird. Oh well, gotta remember that one. Huh. I'm gonna be a Pokemon master one day. What I found is that the key to catching the most Pokemon is knowing when and where they'll appear. First off, Pokemon are nocturnal, so pay attention to what time it is. Not only that, like every little area in Polaris has Pokemon specific to it. Even different areas of Polaris Mountain are unique, so it's very important to search everywhere if you want to catch them all. Oh yeah, and there's this nice old man who lives way out in Polaris Pass that knows how many Pokemon you've caught and will give you stuff to help you on your way to becoming a Pokemon Master. I've always thought that was kind of cool. And a little creepy, I guess. Huh. Look at this Diamond Pearl PC. There are some tabs open about schooling and future career options. Would it probably be a bit creepy to go upstairs? If I had a... Yeah, I guess. No, I don't need to go inside where it's warm, thank you. What I need are my friends to come back. They were my only friends, and now they're gone. I know where they went, but they probably got sick of me, just like everybody else does. You can try to help if you want, but don't pretend like you actually like me. We both know you're only this, uh, doing this for yourself. I guess this is why the doctor said I don't have any friends talking like that. But fine, whatever. My friends would probably like you better anyways. Maybe they'll want to be your friend instead. So I'll give you a riddle. Probably better to talk like this anyways. Maybe I'd actually make a friend if I talk like this instead. Here's the riddle. To begin with, it, anyone noticing like weird pauses in between the dialogue? Here's the riddle. To begin with, they're like super subtle, but it feels like the conversation ends, but then it just keeps going. Here's the riddle. To begin with, I suppose my friends were never mine. Are they like Pokemon or something? Part of an apartment complex. I guess only residents have a key. Does it? Oh my god, he's gonna say all this shit again? Okay, never mind. Yeah, like even fast forwarding, you can definitely tell that the pace of the conversation's faster. Hi there. Yeah, I'm a fisherman, but right now I'm not trying to catch any fish per se. 
Oh, excuse me. There's been a weasel that's been getting into my garden over there, and I'm trying to make sure he's using this ice hole to shift uh, Slither in here undetected. So I'm using some special bait, too. Whoa, there. I think I got him. I don't have water type, do I? Could help in the ice gym. Alright. Oh cool, you still get your XP. Well, it looks more like the uh, XP shareholder does. That was kind of crazy. Thanks for helping me out with that. Now I just got to make sure there aren't any more of them getting in here. Relaxed. Rescue team. Heals its ally one-eighth of max HP each turn. Oh, there's a built-in leftover. That's cool. I'm the Yak Daddy, baby. Oh. oh. What? There's no way I'm killing that. I didn't know pursuit. How's my paral- oh wait, I- I don't use it. it's not, I use Aqua Jet. I was gonna say, there's no way my paralyzed level 5. Well, I just- I just die here, right? That's the only thing that happens. Is that a Pekka Berry? So the only way I could possibly do damage is that this game is wrong. Just kill me, please. Save us all some time. Why didn't I take any damage? What did he just use there? What? What? Why is it doing no damage? Is there something I'm missing here? No, there's no way I'm taking this much damage from this attack. I'm doing more damage. What the? I'm so confused. Is it an ability, maybe? I don't know. Let's just take the free win. <laughs> Lowers all the kind of speed. That means you gotta actually do something. I wanna keep that.
whips up game well whips up the wind that damages enemies has plus 20 power for each hazard on the opponent's field does it remove them though I'm definitely gonna take it over here. I think I can give up Leaf Seed for it. I know Leaf Seed's probably a good move, but I feel like that priority. Um, they use this to post an ally by defending them. They take. Pokemon can be helpful in double battle. Yeah, yeah, catastrophic. <laughs> it's amazing how a single moment can ruin your entire life. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out how I was able to win that. Like, they sent you, like, the undercover goon? Did I find, like, the sauce? Not sure. Heal up my primarily dead team. I feel like I definitely shouldn't have a team of six Pokemon this early on. It becomes super hard to train them all. But, I mean, that's what we're going to do. We'll probably try and get Cottony to 12, then we'll do Pichu to 12. Since those two I'm pretty excited to have. Because they're probably going to be on the team for the entire journey. Dancing Deerling. Save it. Hey there, bud. Don't mind me. Just a war vet. Unlike some of these guys, I'm actually trying to do some good around here. This is my new home, after all. So in case you didn't know, at least, uh, at least the new council appointed leader or whatever has been taking commissions from low-level trainers. Probably because of how much Polaris has been growing. I've seen a lot of people passing through here lately, but none more than young folk like you. But yeah, I figured I could help you out by giving away some Pokemon. You interested? Alright, cool. All you gotta do is battle me first. This is, this is from Yu-Gi-Oh! This is like the uh, other version of uh, Passionate Duelist. That's like it's a cool song. Okay. Play nice. Wait, play nice actually does damage now. Okay. I like the soundtrack of this game. Normal? Resist normal now. Oh wait, no. Play nice is a fairy type move. I guess I should... I think I need to actually read moves and stuff because they do different things now, right? Not all of them, but quite a few might. This thing over here getting... Rush burn. Oh, that could have been bad. Water gun. Okay. 
I think ice resists water now, too. Keep that in mind. So I'm guessing I'm getting one of these terrible Pokemon. Pretty impressive for a new trainer. Like I said, you can go ahead and take your pick. Oh. Pantsier. Weasel. Make sure to raise it properly, bud. Bro, as soon as I get anything that's even slightly better, it's going in the PC, never to be used again. Deals 122 damage and takes less damage under any... Huh? Deals more damage and takes less damage. Brush burn. A painful friction attack that does double damage to compromised targets. Huh. What, is this, what does it mean to be a compromised target? Does it mean like you're preoccupied? Though I can't, I can't hate on the fact that I was just given a fire type um, this early on, especially when the the first gym being confirmed ice. So. Hmm. I know I should go up here. Yeah. See what else is in here. Save it. Oh, man, I'm nervous. I already threw up a little in the bathroom upstairs. Had some kind of weird purple milkshake earlier that didn't sit well at all. I wouldn't go up there if I were you. Not sure if it exactly... Eh, never mind. Gross. Howdy, you one of them refugees? Well, damn. Sounds like you're a rough time of it. How about this? I could buy you a meal, but then what's good th uh, What's good? that's going to do you tomorrow? I heard a saying, give them a fish, they eat for a day, but teach them, a fi uh, teach them to fish and they eat all damn week. So here, this out of your spirits. Fishing rod. Cool. Alright, then I can definitely get better water types at some point. Send another round over here. You want a battle? Sure, buddy. But the loser pays. <laughs> This song is way too intense for these level 5 battles. Relentless. to like remember that this game has a very different type of card. I know. Please tell me you aren't old enough to drink. <laughs> hey man, you're old enough to buy me something in here. Drinking problem? Asshole, I can't stop it. I can stop anytime I want. Damn. You have to call me an asshole like that though? Huh. Yeah, if you guys know any good, you know, grinding methods that are coming up in this game, please let me know. Um, just because I have a lot of Pokemon. And I'm not sure, like, how difficult things are going to be and where I should be focusing. Let's try. 
try right now. A Pokemon battle with me? Well, that would be certainly add something a bit different to our date today. Well, John, shall we? Or is your knee flaring up again? Oh, a double battle. Okay. Oh, a crit, nice beefy. Oh, that's pretty bad. Get a pedal though now. Make sure this passes over. Pheromones? Boreaptor? What the truck is that? Boreaptor. It is an ice poison type attack. Abilities Symbiotic Dragon Force Strong Jaw. It evolves at level 37. It learns Dragon Claw at level 16. This thing learned some crazy moves. Ice Poison. I didn't do much at all. Let's see. At least it won't matter too much. I'm indifferent to fake Pokemon um, that aren't like based off of you know, real Pokemon. Because the designs are usually pretty hit or miss, but this thing looks pretty cool. I could believe this is a Pokemon. Find for strong throughout your team. You remind me of my grandchildren. Your wife is off screen. <laughs> uh. All right, we can we need to train up other Pokemon. Put it on Pichu. Which Pichu with hand steer? Name's Huddy. I'm not much for talking. If you aren't either, you can try holding down the X key to skip through a uh, dialogue. Oh. Yep. I just don't understand why so many people don't like the yokai. Sure, there are a lot more in Polaris because we're closer to the border of Yak, but... Are you confused by... Oh, I see. People are called the Yoaki. Yoaki. The country is Yoak. I know it can be a little confusing at first, but you'll get used to it. There's just much, uh, a bit more of a rigid dutiful military-based people, their country had a crippling caste system. So many have been coming into Tellius over the years looking for work. Unfortunately, a lot of Tellian businesses took advantage of them trapping them into working deals, worse than indentured servitude. Although now, ever since Zane enlisted their help to overthrow King Tavias, it's been a bit of a culture shock as basically all of the Yark has relocated to Tellius. So now I'm going to do, now I'm doing my best to try and teach everyone and uh, how we can all work together and get along. And a few shots of Avalanche Vodka can go a long way in helping with that. Fair. We used to sell Stantler vents and in, in Polaris ice water in here too, but well, even though Polaris has been growing, we haven't been growing alongside it. Between you and me, I think some of the Yaki are scaring customers away. Now we have, uh, now we even have one behind the bar here. It makes me uncomfortable. How they all wear that military looking gear. Figure if they're gonna live here, they could at least dress like us. But no, they gotta bring their whole culture in here with them. But if I say if you wanna look and act like a Yoak, go live in Yoak. What the hell another reason to do? I mean, I, some people might argue this guy is racist. 
I don't think that's necessarily true. It's one thing, like, culturally speaking, I think cultural diversity is important and we should never aim to dilute one's culture. But you can't bring your entire culture into another land, right? Because then you're overstepping on someone else's culture. So there has to be some give and take here, right? What? I'm not racist. I'm just saying, if you want to be Italian, you act like one. If you don't, go somewhere else. I don't care what color anyone's skin is. Why does everyone think it's always about that? It's a culture thing. Maybe if you were culture, you would get that. I mean, damn. I just said I agreed with you. But fuck. All right. Is that it? Eh. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? It's goofy. Hmm. I remember when Elise first came to Polaris, we were all surprised the celebrity decided to settle down this, uh, this far from Starlight City. But soon she became part of the Polaris family and well, we learned her husband had passed. Such a young lass forced to carry the pain in her heart. Such a shame, even though Polaris wasn't directly affected by the war, even if its aftershock shook us all to our cores. Crap, can't find my stash. I guess a battle might jog my memory. <laughs> Worst time to switch into pants here. And for the free heal. I deserve that. Sideways. Center it. Go ahead and impress us with your super high defenses. Or you can just have hidden power fighting. Oh, at least we know. Can't be surprised by it if I know about it. Ah, uh -huh. why did I get hit twice there? Wait, was Barry triggered at the end of the? Why did it take damage? Why did I get hit twice there? happens when you try not to go back to the peace Pokemon Center and heal every time in between a battle, you accidentally get run over in one of them. Uh. Yep. This is, he also has another Pokemon in the back, so I think I just lose. Something other than the usual relaxes and lightens their best the body to move faster, but it's a normal type movement. Interesting. 
and it's a fighting type Pokemon. It's not fun. I think I'll end the episode here, though. Um, the, the the learning curve, I guess I would say, is very steep for this game. Like, this dude over here, fucking Colonel Sanders, has all them goddamn Stantlers. Um, but I'm getting I'm getting something going, which is good, all things considered. I don't feel like I'm losing every fight. But I'm definitely losing a lot more than I would starting any of the other games. So hopefully, uh, I'll I'll get the, a better hang of everything. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment down below as usual, and uh, we shall return. Oh, sorry, we shall return tomorrow with more Pokemon Empire. Until then, have a good evening. Take care.